Hello everybody, I wanted to make a quick video um, and show um, how that I got my lighting to work using um, this little tool called a DMXS made by Intech. Um, great device, it's got a USB in and it's got a couple of DMX outs whether you're using the 5 pin or the 3 pin connector. Now <clears throat> the cool thing about this is the way I had used it previously is with Ableton. Um, and so what happens in Ableton is you're able to send a, um, an output uh, to tell it what bank and what channel. So if you're using it with uh, tracks, you know, your lights can be in sync with, with your tracks right on the down, but you can have a big flash or whatever that you want to do. Uh, really neat device. Um, I think it runs around 300, uh, maybe a little less than that now, but it's a great device. If you don't have one, I highly suggest it. Um, it comes with a software um, that's, uh, that is included with it, and I'll just show you if you're not familiar with it. I'm going to try to see if I can transfer over here. Maybe that works. We'll see. Um, here's the software. Um, if you can see that, um, so as you can see, it's offline. Uh, here, on, there's a bank over here where I have a couple, few songs that we've done uh, alive. Uh, here's in heaven in the river. And what I've done is I've went for every part of the song and made different lighting scenes. So you can see, um, for instance, if I went here and clicked on the verse, uh, you can see all of my lights, and I have them on a chase where they're kind of flashing between like a pink and a blue. Um, and you can see all that work in there. Um, so it's it's really neat, uh, really easy to program. If you're not, you know, I wasn't really a whole lot familiar with uh, programming lots until uh, I came to the church that I'm at now, and I kind of took that over and started doing it as nobody else to do it. Um, so it, it's really neat. Now, um, here's where I ran into problems. Um, I was controlling all of my laptop that I use. Uh, I use Ableton and Reason for my sounds uh, for, for my keyboard. The problem I ran into was I would run off the stage, and uh, the, you know we would pray. The pastor would come up to preach, and uh, I would run off stage after the prayer, and I would forget to press the button that I had mapped for uh, the preaching scene, which we want a lot a lot brighter than a lot of our worship. So I'd have to run up on the stage uh, in the middle of his sermon when I, whenever I realized that the lighting was not on the correct, uh, was not on the correct scene, and I'd go up there and trigger that. Well, uh, I wanted a different way to do that, and I thought, how convenient uh, would it be for uh, our lights to be able to control through Pro Presenter? Um, now let me. I'm just going to go back here so you can see me. So I wanted my, our lights to be able to be controlled through Pro Presenter. So um, I knew that uh, I knew that uh, Pro Presenter had a MIDI module that you could buy. We had actually already bought it because I used to I would trigger a video sometimes to be played with the song. Um, so we already had that. So I knew that you could send and receive MIDI through Pro Presenter. Um, so I said, why not try it? Um, I found out that you can put a cue on each slide if you want in Pro Presenter and have and control what channel of MIDI that that sends out. Um, you know uh, the uh, velocity, you know, where it's zero to 127. You can control everything per scene. So I'm going to show you how to do that because it took me a while and I couldn't really find a great video. Um, so I figured I would make one. So uh, I'm going to go back here. First thing I'm going to do is plug in uh, this box. Now I want to show you. Um, you can see here that uh, it says right here offline connect the DMX's box that's just because the USB is not connected so if you connect it it'll take a few seconds and you'll see connected okay great so uh, then I'm gonna plug my DMX cable in here just a moment it's too bad that I don't I don't have another camera set up um, Otherwise, you all would be able to see the lines, but that's not really important. Um, there's tons of videos out there on programming the lines, so I'll leave that uh, up to you to, to figure out. If you need any help, I can make another video. Um, 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to the blackout scene here. So you can see uh, it's on service presets and blackout. Okay. So so what happens here is uh, DMX just works off of two channels, two DMX channels. The first one is the bank channel. That's channel 15 in the DMX's world, in the MIDI world. That's what it looks for, is channel 15 for, to select the bank. Uh, and then it has the preset. So you'll have your bank, your preset. The preset works off of channel 16 in the MIDI world. So what will happen is I need a pro presenter to tell the MXs, okay, on channel 15, I need to go to note, for instance, we'll do note number three, uh, and I want it to go down to uh, this setting, to cool white. Uh, so we need that to go to uh, preset on channel 16, we need to go that to note five. So I'm going to kind of show you how to get that set up. Um, and uh, actually, we're, we're going to be using the red and white. I'm just going to set it up live with you for our last song. So the first thing that you have to do uh, in order to get all this work is you have to go to audio MIDI setup on your Mac. Um, and let me go here. I'm going to show you how to get there. If you're not, you just go ahead and type in audio MIDI. It'll start to come up. Hit enter. And then you go up here to wind window and go to show MIDI studio. Uh, now you can see here that you'll have one that it'll probably be called IAC driver, uh, I believe is what they call IAC bus, something like that. I've renamed it here. Um, and all this is, is it's kind of like an internal MIDI cable that you can run from program to program. So you have to make sure that you have that selected. You have to make sure that this device is online button is checked off. Um, that's very important. And then make sure you have bus one right here. Um, so, you know, make sure that that's all set up first. Secondly, after you do that, you'll want to go inside of Pro Presenter, uh, which is right here, and go to Preferences. Now, the good thing about Pro Presenter is you can demo every module that they have before you buy it. Um, so that is very, very convenient. Um, uh, you know, so you don't have to spend a bunch of money. I think this mini module is like a hundred bucks, but it works really well. I really suggest it. So, uh, but you can see I've already got the mini module activated. There's a green check mark. Now, um, after that you've bought it, or you know, you can press demo modules and it'll allow it to allow you to demo. There'll just be a watermark over top of your display. Um, but once you do that, once you have the mini module activated, you want to go up to communications uh, and. You can see I've already made a, um, a MIDI channel here. So if this weren't here, what you would do is you would go to Add Device, you would go to MIDI, and you could label it like I have uh, DMX's example. And uh, <laughs> you can see I, I have, this was, I was in a desperate need one time when I was trying to launch a video and I made a MIDI network called Please God Work because uh, <laughs> we were stressed out. But anyway, so you want to make sure that you have uh, on destinations because you're sending MIDI, you're not receiving MIDI, you're, you're, um, you're sending. So you want to make sure on destinations that you're sending out on bus one because that's what it was labeled when we set up our IAC drivers, bus one. So we'll check that off. Then you would click save. Um, I'm going to delete that because this is the same thing I have right here. Um, so, uh, anyway, let's not mess with that. We can go in another time. You also want to make sure um, when it's not connected, you'll see a little line like that. It'll be red, and you'll have the settings icon. Um, so, you know, this is kind of what you got. You have to make sure you click connect. Okay. So now you'll have a green look at telling it's telling us that we don't have any MIDI inputs, but we are sending a MIDI output. Um, so, so DMX should be able to receive that. So what you would do here um, to set this up is you go after you have your MIDI set up, you right click on the slide. So I want my lights to be triggered as soon as this slide is clicked. So I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna go to 
add queue and then you're going to go down to communication and we're going to go to MIDI note on now so what we're going to do with this is we're going to set up our bank so we want to go here and we want to set up our bank on channel 15 uh, so after channel 15 is selected we want to go uh, I'll show you here we're going to go to um, DMX is we want to select bank 3 because it's under service songs so we're going to go to the third note now um, so one two three so that's going to select bank 3 the important thing and I struggle with this for a while you have to make sure that the intensity is anything besides zero otherwise DMX is will not see that so that tells our bank and then our we want to go to the same place add Q DMX is MIDI note on and then we want to go to channel 16 to select our preset. Now if I bring this back up, you can see we want our preset to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the 6th preset. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's kind of confusing because they have these parentheses here. Don't, don't really bother with that. Make sure you set your intensity. Now, that's all set up. Uh, now I'm going to go to this blackout scene. So you can see it's on blackout. See if I can kind of drag these over so we can see it work in real time. All right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to come over here and click this slide. Let me go ahead and there we go. You've seen it change right there. But you can see we have those MIDI modules changed. Uh, every single one is it's automatically changing. Uh, so it's really convenient. Works really well. Uh, really solid and um, so I highly suggest it. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions um, you know just comment below and I'll try to get to them. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye bye.